the B values we take for uh, diffusion weighted imaging of the brain are routinely B0 and B1000 and obviously an ADC map. Um, in sagittal, uh, depending on the institution and depending on the indication, we would take a sag T1 and a T2 slash flare. So, one T1 is what is uh, what we need and that's particularly to see the uh, pituitary hotspot, whether there is any stock transaction or not. So, particularly in such indications, we'd want to do a sag T1. Otherwise, just a sag flare slash T2 will suffice or you can in a lot of uh, places they take one 3D flare sequence which will do the job. Coronal T2 slash flare and again this can be done, uh, done away with if you've taken a 3D, weight, a 3D flare or T2 weighted image. Contrast is something that you will, uh, you will decide depending on what you see in the conventional sequences. Uh, unless you know that you are dealing with a mass lesion or you're dealing with an infection wherein you would want to give contrast in all cases otherwise depending on the findings of your routine conventional sequences you decide whether to give gadolinium or not and if you've done gadolinium enhanced scans then we'll prefer to take them in three planes so axial sag and core are then done if uh, we've given contrast so this is how a routine protocol of brain is decided